Looks like Pablo Escobar's holding company, Escobar Inc., is back at it again with a new phone which apparently is going to kill some other major manufacturer. They already tried the whole thing with the Escobar folding phones, the Fold 1 which was just a rebranded Royal Flex Buy and the Fold 2 which even I almost ordered at one point because it was a rebranded Galaxy Fold being sold at just 399 USD. Now they are coming up with the same strategy but for Apple, so instead of rest in peace samsung.com, they seem to have occupied rest in peace apple.com. And now they are targeting the iPhone 11 Pro with their own 24 karat gold version of the same thing named as the Gold 11 Pro. I'm sure whoever decided this name had a heavy influence of Escobar's uh, white magic powder if you know what I mean. Anyway, the Escobar Gold 11 Pro is exactly like an iPhone 11 Pro. In fact, it's literally an iPhone 11 Pro with a thin gold plated back on it. At least they took the more premium route this time because it's not just a sticker anymore, as was the case with the other two scamming phones that they released. Here they have went ahead and replaced the uh, glass back on the iPhones with a 24 karat gold film. In fact, it's not that expensive apparently to get a 24 karat thin plating of gold on a, a small form factor of a device. It only costs about $55 as it turns out. These guys are getting smarter and uh, coming up with strategies to define their new like really low attractive price tag. They are saying that they are taking phones which are uh, otherwise damaged and are worthless and they have repaired it and now they are selling it off to a lesser cost. They even include this device condition pamphlet which indicates what the device had gone through before it went through the whole uh, gold Escobar obnoxious makeover. The packaging is a lot more elegant this time around because last time it was just a simple cardboard and foam package with the Galaxy Fold just thrown in there. It's a lot more neat and uh, professional looking with a wooden box and a push button to open it and a mirror finish on the inside which almost looks like a legit product. If we hadn't already heard about their original campaign then a lot more people would have been scammed by this. So this time around instead of like advertising it first they have straight away shipped it out to a couple of creators who they know that will get them some kind of content because you know there is no such thing as a bad publicity. Even this video right here is doing the purpose of getting their name out but at this point uh, pretty much everyone who remotely watches the tech side of YouTube knows about Escobar so screw it. The story is pretty much the same this time around as well. They have a bunch of models holding their phone and uh, just advertising the same thing that rest in peace Apple. Apparently they want us to unite against Apple who make crappy products and yet again, just like what they did with Samsung, it's literally the Apple's product which is being marketed as their own. They even say in one of their videos that the Escobar Gold 11 Pro works just like an iPhone 11 Pro but with it has 24 karat goodness. But none of that really matters anyway because it's not like you're gonna get that phone when you order it. And just as Mr. Who's the Boss explained, since they have shipped out a stupid autobiography to most of those who ordered it, it's not easy for the banks to get a refund when uh, the user complains about it. And speaking of refunds, uh, just like with the last time, they have completely eliminated every other option that can potentially get you a refund. So as I mentioned in my other Escobar video, the only payment options available are direct bank transfer or cryptocurrency, both of which are non-refundable and cryptocurrency is even harder to get refund than a bank transfer. So last time as I mentioned, uh, I really wanted to order the Escobar Fold 2. So I placed the order but since I'm from India, uh, I found it quite difficult to get the payment gateway to transfer my funds. I kept trying but it didn't work but ultimately it turned out great in my favor because it saved my money. That's the good thing about the internet that the truth never remains hidden for long. I'm not gonna do the same mistake this time though and neither should you. Even if this $499 iPhone 11 Pro with 24 karat gold ends up in a certain people's hands chosen at random, you should not take that risk because it's just not worth it. And retreating back to the fact of no publicity being bad, this Robert Gaviria guy who is the head of assassinations there, he has sued Apple for 2.6 billion dollars apparently because one time he used FaceTime and it almost got him killed. It's a funny story, you should read up on that. I'll link some articles in the description. Anyway, the marketing circus aside, you should know that the Escobar company is known for many such scams and this is not the first time they have used flashy advertisements to get your money in any way. So make sure you stay clear of this but if you want to check it out just for fun without purchasing it then uh, head over to ripapple.com. Watch some videos with hot models and enjoy yourself, but that should be it. I don't want you to proceed with this purchase unless you want to end up with some overpriced autobiography or something like that for 499 USD. Anyway, it was definitely interesting to see that Escobar is back to its old roots again. Um, that was the highlight of my day, so I decided to make a video on it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, then consider sticking around. There's going to be quite a good number of uploads to the channel uh, in the next few days. 
as we carry on with the quarantine take very good care of yourselves and with that said till next time take it easy and i'll see you soon cheers